cousins whoa welcome back to i just broke a nail part of a nail what the fuck it didn't hurt but what the fuck was that okay The energy is wonderful today, guys. 4, 16, 24, 2, 38 p.m. Welcome, cousins. Welcome back to Jenna Alley. I don't know if I said any of that. But if I did, oh, well, you heard it again. Um, 65 degrees out. It's sunny. It's beautiful. It's nice and windy, you know? It's not too much of this, not too much of that. All right, so you got marriage. Soul commitments. Um, I'm hearing a... a Ask a bottom in the street, your boy Jeezy Arada. Soul Survivor, Jeezy and Akon Soul Survivor. What's this? Judication. So you're either moving toward a um now this could be an actual marriage if it's not then you're moving toward a hefty commitment it's like yo like whatever this is you've been praying for this shit like lord i'm trying to manifest my way to fuck up out of here what's up what we doing hey coach put me in man all we need is two just me and you what we doing so again if you're not actually getting married i feel like you're coming into a um it's a contract it's like like you know what i'm saying that shit real it's a it's it's ironclad like that shit it's, it's tough there's some type of legal document so you're going to be um you could literally be moving um you see like the suitcases and all that so you could actually be relocating or um i mean you could be getting married and relocating if not i feel like you're just it's something completely brand new it's a that marriage card is like when you sign a new lease, when you sign a um the the higher contract, when you sign a uh uh you know what I'm saying, when you, you sign up the to to that's your EIN type shit. Like you you doing it's a it's a contract, it's a it's a me and this this is a strong partnership. We ain't courting, we ain't trying to see if it works. Like we we steady, we started with this. That's what I want. So I feel like you're making a you're making a clear decision for what you want. Now, with marriage and adjudication, some of y'all that are married could be getting divorced. Like, it could be a, um, what's that shit called? Like, somebody could be serving you with papers or something. Either way, I feel like you're being served papers. Either you're going, like, all the way up, so this is all good shit, or, nigga, you know if it's going left. I mean, you'll know. Family room. Yeah. Courthouse. And change. Yeah, so it's like, you know, I saw my brother do this one time. So he, what was happening? His his baby mom was at work or some shit like that. I think she might have been pregnant with, I can't remember if she was pregnant or not. But either way, they was moving. She didn't know that my brother had already, like, he, he got the, the, the house and he had already did like the down payment and everything like he he paid you know what i'm saying all the shit he got the furniture in there like she coming back to he telling her like meet me at such and such she thinking that she me and him you know what i'm saying to go kick it somewhere she no i'm trying to go home i'm i'm tired i'm there he like no meet me at such and such so um he uh she meet him there go up like he I, I think he came down or something like that to go get her but yeah he surprised her with a whole new fucking house like whole new house furniture everything set i'm like what the fuck how the house is when you move like this <laughs> oh shit my brother is that nigga like <laughs> my brothers do be doing shit like that though like if they fuck with you you would know that's what that's a confirmation if they fuck with you you gonna know that's for damn sure. And if they don't, you don't know. That's for damn sure. <laughs> What's this? Yeah, but it could be something like that. Like, you could literally be getting surprised with a brand new home. This could be a marriage and a new home. It's like somebody got shit lined up. Lined up. 
if this is not you with the like you you this you know what i'm saying you're not in a partnership like that then it's you by yourself or it's you could be actually i feel like you're to be honest a lot of y'all you could be single right now i truly believe i'm here newly single i really believe there's an authority figure like somebody that works in the government the military something some type of state something i'm not sure what it is but i feel like somebody in high fucking place like they got power up under them some way shape and form they fuck with you and they're looking at you like yeah you the one like i want you they could work in the courthouse or like family like family court or something dealing with like family issues or something But somebody is being granted every fucking thing that they want. It's like it's like life as you know it is just changing completely. Yeah, despair in household occupation. Somebody's been working on this, like on the, like on on the um, on the back end and shit. But I feel like if, again, if you're not in a partnership like that, then I feel like there's somebody that's, they fuck with you. They in high places, high power. Like you're, you're whoever that, first of all, if you're a feminine, especially, I got to call it out because I hear it. If you're a feminine, especially if you are a feminine, there is a man here that is like, yeah, you're mine. And I'm about to take care of you, point blank and period. Who is this? Who that is? Who he is? Hmm. Who is that, ma'am? Who is that, ma'am? I don't think you even know. I'm gonna be totally honest. I don't think your ass even knows. I don't think there's somebody that you looking at this person like, oh, it's this person. I don't think so. And if you are thinking, if, if that is you, then this is not your reading. I'm sorry, but it's not. Whoever the fuck this is, why does shit look off to me? Yeah, I don't know who this wealthy man is, but buddy's coming your way full-blown love and it's a mature man too which means that he bought what he talking yeah mature man mature woman so that yeah you the only one that catch my eye <laughs> match my fly then i'm here in india i read um ooh, i did not just do that to one of my faves girl what's your song I want to call all of them. India, I read the truth, but there's another one. Good man, right on time. Ain't it called Good Man? Was I tripping? I should have just said it then, huh? That's the name of the song, ain't it? It got to be. Good man, that's the name of the song. India, I read Good Man. Good Man and India, I read the truth. That's who's coming in. That's who the fuck the main male is, or the not the main male, the mature man, and that's who the wealthy man is. So either one, this is already currently going down and you're about to upgrade to the next stage with this person or two, this is this is not your situation and it is coming into your, like this is about to be your fucking situation. Why is my stomach so small? I feel like I'm just sitting like this. Like my stomach just caving in and shit. That shit is uncomfortable. Like, I don't got no meat on my bones or something. What the fuck is that about? Nice and plush over here. Nice and plump. I don't know why I just said that's so weird, huh? I don't know why the fuck I just... I don't know. What the fuck, Allison? I don't know. Okay, yeah, despair. Um, Expectation, bad health, thief, and give. Somebody that fucked you over is about to attempt to reach out and try to like smooth shit over. You can see clear as day that there are a thief in bad health. They're not doing well at all. They're fucked up completely. This look like relationship bad, regular shit bad, family life is bad, court, some shit going down with court, that's bad. Some shit with their job could be fucked up. They all fucked up. Y'all remember in um in Bad Boys where uh Martin was like, oh, all right, hold on, let me let me ask him. Oh, he can't tell us shit, Mike. He's all fucked up. That's how this is going down. Like, this person all fucked up. Was it? Yeah, poverty. So this person is just losing and losing and losing and losing and losing and concern and change. And now the, it's like, I can't take one more thing going left in my life. I can't take one more thing going wrong. Oh, well, it looks like you're going to have to, motherfucker, because you've earned that. 
Surprise, motherfucker. What's this? I don't understand. But this seems like it's not even something you're, you're not even, so if this is not you, yeah, if this is not you, keep it that way. This somebody that's sad that feels like they lost you. The spirit poverty with, with marriage, like they, this the worst day ever for somebody or this is like the worst week, the worst month, the worst year. The year just goddamn started. Calendar and astrological. The shit just started. Somebody is down bad all fucking ready. You see how courthouse and despair you see how the numbers are inverted at the top of the card there's 23 and then 32 shit just went backwards for somebody <clears throat> oh well main mail i said main mail somewhere didn't i so somebody's no longer in a relationship or in a marriage they're they're single And, and with judication, poverty, main male, it doesn't look like they want to be single. Now, here's the thing. It's not necessarily that it's, it's not like, oh, I, I just don't want to be like, I'm not trying to be single. It's not that. I think that this person saw a marriage with you and it's not happening. And now it's like, damn, like, I don't want to be single. But I, I, it's not I don't want to be single because, you know. Like, no, I don't want to be sick. Like, I, I, I don't want to be alone. I want to be with you. Like, that's what they trying to tell you. Somebody is down bad. What's this? Thirty one. I don't know. What the fuck I'm calling out? The, well, 21, 31. Yeah, shit is going bad for somebody. Now you got family room right in the bad health. You got courthouse despair. Somebody is fucked up out here. But I'm hearing tank. Maybe I deserve. So I don't know what the fuck this shit is going on over here. But it seems like with this marriage and poverty shit. Yeah, it seems like somebody got bigger fucking issues or it just seems like their whole world is just crashing down. Like everything, like I don't, I can't catch a break. I can't keep my head above water. We all make choices. Before you start to feel bad about this person being down, understand we all make choices. If everything in your life, because now I'm hearing Tammy Rivera, um, all these kisses. If y'all saw the video, Buddy was getting evicted out of his house. Tammy was like, fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you cool in this bed. Like, we cool. We good. If it's some shit like that, or, or I don't know, what the fuck going down? This person got some legal shit going down. Whatever the fuck it is, they could have a family battle, custody shit. I don't know what the hell. What I do, bad health shit going on. I don't know. But what I do know is they fucked up a whole commitment like that was marriage that shit was solid they fucked that whole thing up now there that's no more they fucked the whole thing up like everything could have been going wrong in the world like but that shit solid and now it's not like yeah you on your own this is yeah because that's what drowning people do they try to pull you up underwater with them this person was drowning. You tried to throw them the life, um, the life boat, the life raft, the life ring, the life line, the life pole, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And they try to yank your ass in the water with them. They try to drown you with them. And it didn't work. They're on their own. They tried to drown you with them. Yeah, I need you to look me in my face when I say that. They try to drown your ass with them. They were going down already. You stood solid where you clearly should not have, but you're not faulted for that. You did what you do, right? You was just there. You was fucking with this person. Yeah, they were already drowning. They tried to drag your ass down there too. And when that when that's not possible, well, then what good are you anyway? Why do I need to be around you anyway? Why do I need to talk to you anyway? I don't. I don't want to talk to you. You're not gonna drown with me. I don't want to talk to you. You're not going to save me after I, after I just try to drown you with me. Oh, you're, oh, oh, I don't want to talk to you then. I don't want to be around you. I don't, I don't want, I don't, I don't need. So now this, that's who does. Didn't I just say this person did that shit to they or your motherfucking ass did this shit to yourself. 
No one can feel bad. I swear to God, if you feel bad for this person, you need a spiritual slap real hard across your fucking face. I'm not even bullshitting. Because you got shit fucked up. If you able to feel bad for this person, you need to go to therapy. You have a fucking problem. You be the main one trying to fucking say the, the fucking bird with the broke wings and bro, bro, fucking broke legs and shit. You not Dr. Doolittle, my nigga. You can't fix that problem. It's sad, but that's life. I don't know what the fuck. This is not your problem. They try to drown you with them. They're miserable, so why would they? How the fuck they gonna make you happy? Why would they be happy around you? Why wouldn't they not suck the positive out of you if they're miserable? Hmm? I sit in the car with you for three days. Hmm. Maybe that's doable depending on the circumstance, but you just being a fuck person and then try to play with me behind being a fuck person? Oh, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I wish you would try to feel bad for this person. Me and you gonna have an issue. And I love you to life. But I will hand you your ass behind this one right here. I will. I wish you would. It would literally restore my faith in all of this shit right now. I wish the fuck you would. Even a little bit try to feel bad for somebody that just tried to take you out with them. And that's what you don't seem to see. You just don't seem to see that part. They were already fucked up and you tried to help. So they tried to they try to bring you under with them because misery loves company. They're miserable. So of course they want you around. And then you're miserable sitting with them. Misery loves company. They try to bring you down with them. What happens when you sit around motherfuckers that, that ain't doing nothing with their life? What happens when you sit around motherfuckers that all they are is depressed constantly? What happens? What do you think happens to you? Hmm? Okay, for those of you confused, what happens when you put rotten fruit in with good fruit? Hmm? You know it spoils the rest, right? If you leave a dead lobster in the tank with other lobsters, it's going to contaminate the other lobsters. Yeah. Yeah, I need you to look me in my face when I, I wish the fuck you would try to feel bad for this person that just tried to fuck you over completely. Because not only did they try to fuck you over, they were fucking you over. You were acting like, you know what, Lord, I'm just, you know, I'm just always trying to be there for people. And this person's never there for you. Let's talk about it. Because I wish the fuck you would try to feel bad for this person. I would hate to beef with my cousin right now behind some dumb shit, but I don't mind. I don't mind. You gonna pull your head out your ass right now. Or we gonna do this until you get it right. You get me? Message in reverse. Yeah, I didn't think you were fucking with this. Something just in me was like, girl, you don't have to turn up like that. Yo, cuz, ain't crazy, crazy. Crazy, yes, but crazy, crazy, hell no. Message in reverse. You're not communicating with this person anymore. Do you understand me? That's my boyfriend. That's my girlfriend. That ain't even your motherfucking friend. Do you understand me? That's not even your goddamn friend. Who? This is why I don't got kids. This why. This is and then a couple other fucking reasons I don't have patience. This the reason I don't got no motherfucking. Cause there, there ain't no way in fuck, my nigga. Who I used to wonder what the fuck my dad had to deal with raising me. The girl version of your motherfucking ass. What is it like to raise me? I could not do this. I could not. I don't think it's in me. To raise one like me. I don't think it's in me. Okay. The fuck? This one got no motherfucking kids. It gotta be. Nope. Hell no. This type of shit would make me lose my... Because you have it fucked up. Now, they already got it fucked up, but you got it fucked up because they got it fucked up. You're letting them think that it's cool. Now, I'm confused on what you got going on. Where you at mentally? Because the only reason that you can still be fucking with this person is for a couple reasons. One, you don't want to be alone. Two, it's somebody to kind of, you know, talk to here and there. Possibly fuck on here and there. Outside of that, what the fuck are y'all doing? Huh? You have fun, you fuck, you talk, you piddle talk, and then you, you hang up and then what? What are you doing with this person? For the, <laughs> not because cousin. No, what, what's, what's going on? What, what, what the fuck are you really doing with this person? 
Can y'all make money from what y'all doing? And I ain't talking off no OnlyFans shit. Can y'all make money off of what you're doing? No. I didn't think so. What the fuck is this? Yeah, the lovers. You ain't in love. Stop fucking playing. You're not in love with this person. The hell wrong with you? You're not in love with this person. That is not, that is not even your motherfucking friend now. Do you hear me when I say that to you? Boy, girl, do you hear me? That is not your fucking boyfriend. That is not your motherfucking girlfriend. Do you hear me? Stop fucking playing, man. They, they for the street. Stop fucking playing. What's this? Stop playing. Fuck around. Catch something playing with this person if you want to. I'm really going to be on your ass then. Oh, I ain't going to let up. Mm-mm. No. No. Fuck you got going on. Lovers and... Yeah, lovers in great fortune. Somebody else is right behind them. This person don't want your ass to move on. It's somebody right behind this whole thing about to light your whole fucking world up. Like, you literally deserve this type of love that's coming in. You literally fucking deserve it. You did bonus rounds to get this shit. But you're hanging on to... What is it called? Not the doppelganger, the the clone. You're hanging on to the clone. Mm-hmm. This person's a clone. They don't sit in the seat of the person you're going to be with. That's like a toddler putting on your motherfucking shoes. That's what I'm trying to say. The person that you feel like you're in love with, that's your toddler putting on your fucking shoes. They just don't fit them. Them shoes don't go with, with, with your body. You got your own little special shoes, but these shoes don't go with your shit. And I don't want you to break your ankle and your hoochie mama's shoes, so take the motherfuckers off. Some of y'all got shit fucked up. You a party time whore for this person, feminine or masculine. Who that, who that, hoochie mama? You that, you that, hoochie mama. What the fuck? What's this? Oh, y'all don't like that shit, do you? It's the truth. That's the fuck they won't tell you. You don't like that shit. Yeah, thief. Despair, message in reverse, thief, courthouse, great fortune and lovers. This person, that's what I'm saying, they don't give a fuck about you. Feminine or masculine, pull your head out of your ass. Lovers, great fortune, thief, and courtship. That's your boyfriend? That's your girlfriend? You gonna keep saying that? Let me tell you something. You're courting. Y'all ain't even, y'all, no. No. It's not. It's not. No, hell no. Mm-hmm. But somebody else is coming in unexpectedly. This person, you leave this person the fuck alone with message in reverse. Bet money they don't say shit back to you, but they're screenshotting that shit and sending it to everybody, and everybody is talking about the same shit. Oh, that's crazy. But you want to tell them people how you did me? That's ridiculous. Do you really need to clear your side of the story, though? Huh? Because you literally got somebody that is screenshotting your messages and sending them bitches around and they're calling everybody that'll fucking listen to, to make people feel bad for them. That's why I told Joe ass, I wish the fuck you would feel bad for this person. This is what they do. They're an emotional manipulator and they get no fucking wear. They're patient zero. They're just toxic. And they're fuming. But that's not your problem. You keep fucking with this, your whole life will go down. You will go down with this motherfucker if you keep playing. I don't think that's in your bloodline to keep. I just don't see that happening because before you let this get this far, I step in. And before it gets even further than what the fuck we already do, your ancestors will whoop your motherfucking ass consistently until you get this. You will have no sleep, no rest, no peace. Ain't no motherfucking sleep for the wicked. No justice, no peace. You go against your spiritual team if you want to. That's another ass whooping that I don't think you're. I don't think you want that. Imagine going in a, into a, a fucking family dinner. I'm talking the whole motherfucking. Family. I'm talking all your sides of family is there, and you done did some crazy shit. Now you the topic of discussion. That is how your ancestors are looking at you. I don't give a fuck what nobody else is talking about. You keep playing with this part. That's my boyfriend. That's my girlfriend, mama. That's my boyfriend, mama. Think so? Hmm. Think so. I can assure you they are not. And I can assure you, you play crazy, you will be crazy. 
Oh, you gonna be crazy. Then the motherfucker, and I can assure you that the person, the entity, the, 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 the whoever the fuck it is you pray to, I can assure you they will not be answering you. Now, I don't think you should try that theory out. I really don't. I don't think you should just purposely go against the fuck I'm saying just because you want to test that. But if you want to, you will end up just like this person. Now, you can avoid all that because there is somebody else. First of all, focus on yourself. But there is somebody else that can show you how to build your own brand. That can show you how to free yourself and do the fuck you need to and want to do for you. That will actually be on your side the same way you're on your side. Why are you trying to manufacture some shit that don't work? Because the word love pops up. Hmm. I love pizza. I guess we're just saying shit then, huh? Shoebox, moon pie, band-aid. I guess we're just saying shit. Get, stop playing, bro. Stop playing, cousin. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Again. Drowning people pull you up under with them. They attempted to do that. You attempted to act like you didn't see that shit. You almost attempted to get your ass whooped by your own spiritual team. I want you to know that. Every time you play stupid like you don't see what the fuck going on. <laughs> your spiritual team will come holler at your ass every time. And some of y'all don't even understand when the fuck they take shit from you. Your check late, you don't got enough money, the unexpected bill. These be ways that your ancestors communicate with you. Because obviously, you need to focus your attention on something else. Some of y'all miss the whole fucking thing. You go right back to the motherfucking person and tell them what the fuck your problem is. Then it gets worse. You How do you not understand? What the fuck? How do you not understand? Changing coffin. The fuck? How do you not understand? Yeah, well, then if you don't understand shit like this, you don't understand English, motherfucker. I don't know what to tell you. Official person. Very clearly, this is not. This person shows up as a fucking thief, of course. First of all, that means that they're out talking to other people any fucking way. This person friendly as hell. If you not trust me when I say that they are. Motherfucker, they are. They friendly as fuck with her. Somebody at their job right now believes that they is in love with this fucking person. Somebody online believes that they is in love with this person. Somebody that live around this person, they, they believe this person talks to everyone. They're friendly as fuck. Probably another reason that they so fucked up. Now, how you friendly and all these people don't nobody fuck with you though? That let me know something off with your ass. You just out here running your mouth like fucking water. You just loose lips sink ships, motherfucker. Your, sink, your ships, they're sinking to the bottom of the motherfucking ocean floor. Sitting down there like the goddamn Titanic. I think you need to focus on some other shit. And I'm not talking to this part. I'm talking to your motherfucking ass. I think you should focus on some other shit. What's this? Especially because there's somebody else that is showing up as the official person. That's like, yeah, you single? You single and you outside? <laughs> I'm about to go talk to y'all. You single? You outside? Cause you know you mine, right? Somebody got their eyes set on you. You set on this fucking clown. The fuck are you doing? Yeah, thoughts. Somebody about to come in. Like, yeah, fuck what he's saying. Fuck what she's saying. Wealthy man, unexpected income. Yeah, yeah, yeah. House at the bottom. So this is somebody that's sturdy, stable. They could work for themselves. They could work from home. They could build houses, construction. I'm really hearing that if you have an ex that's more like, it's like, I consider this person more as a friend than an ex. You know how it's like, like you could have been friends with your ex. It's like, yeah, like me and this person more so friends than anything. Like, so if you got somebody, take it if you resonate. If you got somebody like that specifically, he got to do construction or something. Or he, he, he paint houses, he build them, he fix shit in the house. I'm hearing Mr. Fix It, Bob the Builder. So he works with his hands. He does. Con I'm hearing construction. There's a masculine that does construction. Or something like it. Or engineering or something. Or maybe they're a realtor. Or they're an entrepreneur. They, they work from home. But they make a lot of money from home. 
these are just a few details about the new wealthy person coming into your life that is about to show you how to up your shit. Why would you be focused on somebody that was fucking you over to begin with? That's why I said I wish you would sit here and feel bad for this person. It just wouldn't be a good day for us over here. <laughs> I'll be right back. I love you. I'll be right back though. <laughs> 